So good to be back. Um, you know, big win last weekend uh, at home, uh, and uh, it was great to have military appreciation weekend, uh, and also to have Hall of Fame weekend, and have those two uh, you know celebrations, and uh, to have a, a victory the way we had. And just really excited about the way our, our, our kids played and the way they prepared all week, and you saw the culmination of a, a really good week of practice. Uh, you know, turn into a you know a solid performance on game day, and so uh, you know puts us in good position here in the middle of November as we go into uh, you know what's going to be a very challenging road game against a extremely talented uh, Memphis football team uh, coming off of a uh, a big uh, home win against ranked uh, SMU this past weekend. Um, and you know we looked at them on film, and they're exactly you know what you expect from a Memphis football team. You know, very talented. Uh, at the skill positions, um, you know, good size. I think their offensive front's very athletic. Uh, defensive front's very long. Um, you know, dynamic on special teams. So uh, you know, it's going to be a challenge going on the road. Uh, but I know our, our kids are really excited about the opportunity. Uh, they'll, uh, I'm sure that they're going to have a, a really good week of practice, and the kids will be locked in and ready to go on Saturday. So it should be a good one. Questions? Coach, is this your first uh, trip to the Liberty Bowl in terms of coaching a team there? And it is. Talk about your excitement level a little bit. Well, it's my first trip to play Memphis at Memphis, uh, but uh, you know, it's I'm excited for the next game. That's 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 it. Coach, you guys set the team goals uh, before the season. You're on the verge of accomplishing one of those with one more win. How much do you guys talk about that this week, as far as motivating the team to try and get to that accomplishment to be able to extend the season for post game. How, you know, a lot of people are talking about that as fans and the media. What about with you and the team? How much is that being addressed right now? Zero. None. We're playing Memphis. That's it. Coach, how much does confidence affect execution, affect the way practices go? You guys have two wins under your belt. I mean, do you, can you see the kind of pep in their step? Does it help? Does it, you know, oh, do you yeah. have to reel them back in at all, or does it? No, help? I mean, no. I, I think it's appropriate. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, and, and as crazy as it sounds, even, even the the tough losses on the road when we played well at UCF and Houston gave the players confidence. Uh, and this is, you know, this is a team that you have a lot of young guys. You have a few old guys. Uh, the old guys have not had much success here. And so uh, I think the, the biggest thing it's given them is, they, and we keep on talking about it each week, they continue to see, you know, things we do well in practice, we're doing well on game day. Uh, and, you know, it's really, you know, helped us focus in on our preparation. Uh, and I see the guys that are, the guys that are playing, the guys that are on the scout teams are very, very focused on, each day, you know, trying to have a great day that day, trying to be the, you know, our scout teams today, they're, they're going to be in meetings, they're going to be focused on how can I give the best look of Memphis that I possibly can. And, you know, our guys are just doing such a great job with the preparation each week. And that's the reason we're playing well on game day. And that's, and, and, and that, and that playing well on game day motivates them for the next week. So I think it's a, sure, I think there's some confidence gain. Uh, but I think it's appropriate confidence gain. I don't think this this bunch is not over overconfident by any means. I mean, I think that's I think that's why you go out and play the way you did against uh, a talented Temple team this past weekend. Uh, they knew they had to go out and play. They knew they had to prepare and and practice throughout the week last week to play that way on game day. And so uh, and and then I think their performance you know focuses them in for that preparation the next week. So uh, I think our guys are a really good place right now. Uh, watching Memphis this year, obviously Calvin Austin jumps off the tape, but yeah. also their their tight end Dykes. Just those yep. two guys seem to be a real matchup issues. Just how much of a challenge are they? Well, they are. I mean, Austin's dynamic. I mean, he's got you know he's got elite speed. Uh, it, you know, yardage after the catch. I mean, if you don't get your hands on him, you know he's gonna he's gonna run away from you. So and then Dykes, uh, you know, he's a little bit different than Ryan, but you know, you do equate him a little bit to like Ryan. He's a tight end who has wide receiver skill set. Um, I think 13 and 18 both are, are, are really top end receivers also. I mean, I think they're, you know, their stand up guys around that offensive line and quarterback are very, very talented. Um, and, you know, and they've all made plays. I mean, you had the, the freshman wideout come in last week and make, make a huge catch on fourth down 
uh, in that SMU game there in the first half. So, you know, they have a lot of guys making a lot of plays. You know, I think the running back who missed last week, uh, Thomas, I, I would expect him to be back this week. I think he's a really good running back in this conference. I think, you know, there are other, there are other backs that are playing, and they're playing several of them, are, are really solid backs. Um, I just think this is a very explosive offense. I know you mentioned Saturday night that Mason was a little disappointed, but were you guys able to go back and look at that and talk with him and turn that into a teaching moment and turn a, a negative into a positive? Oh, yeah. I mean, hey, he, that, that disappointment turned into he's ticked off at himself now. I mean, he was, he was excited to get in there. He was, you know, confident going in, and he made a bad play. Uh, the great thing is, you know, it, it didn't kill us, and he's going to learn from it, and uh, he'll be ready that much more the next time he gets in there. So. Uh, I thought he had a great attitude on Sunday. I'm sure he'll be ready to go today. And, you know, he's a, a young guy. And it's the thing about that position is you have this big spotlight that shines on you when you play quarterback. Um, and so every little thing gets over-evaluated sometimes. You know, so you, you make a great play, it's over-analyzed. You, know, you have one bad play, it's over-analyzed. So uh, he's got a lot of good ball in front of him, and that's just going to be part of his learning experience. Uh, over the last three grand games, it's pretty easy to see the progress the defense has made, especially getting pressure on the quarterback. Um, talk about the growth of the defense, especially up front from the start of the season until now. Well, I think it's a culmination thing. Uh, you know, these guys, we, we said at the beginning of the year, every week they're going to play better uh, because they're going to get that much more experience. Uh, and when you're front, uh, you know, there are a bunch of guys that are, for the most part, second year players. Um, you know, they're still improving week to week. I think that's part of it. I think that uh, I think just the the comfort, familiarity, confidence that everybody has in the scheme we're playing because we're I mean, we're pretty diverse. We're as, we're probably as diverse as anybody in the country, you know, as far as the different looks we show and different things we do. Um, and but the guys have a lot of confidence in knowing they know their stuff, and you know they play fast with it. And I just think that that allows you to play you know that much better each week because. You know, you don't have a ton of busts, you don't have a bunch of MAs, uh, and they're playing with a lot of confidence on that side of the football. So I just think it's a kind of a culmination thing. Um, I think probably another piece is, you know, the depth we have on that side of the football allows us to stay pretty fresh throughout the game. And I think that's, I think that, uh, you know, is a big reason for some of the success we've had in the second half, you know, over the last month in ball games. Coach, I was reading they were five of eight. Memphis was five of eight on fourth down this week. Yeah. How, how big? Well, can you talk about the evolution of fourth down and, and you know how big that could be on Saturday? Well, I mean, I think that uh, especially playing a team like SMU, because Coach Dykes, you know, he's a big analytics guy, and you know the analytics stuff sometimes. <coughs> some of those guys that put that stuff together, <coughs> it's easy to sit in an office and say. We should go for it on fourth down right here. Well, you know, that guy's job's not on the line. Uh, I think there's a lot of variables that go into, you know, when's a good time to take a risk and when's not. You know, we've been very aggressive on fourth down this year. Uh, but there are times that I've, I, I choose to not, you know, go for it on fourth down. There's so many variables. Um, I think that Memphis went into that game last week, deciding they were going to be extremely aggressive. They were very aggressive. Um, it worked out for them a lot uh, now. You know, the one they went for it with about a minute and a half to go and didn't get it and gave SMU the ball at midfield. I mean, that was a dicey call right there that could have bit them in the rear end. It didn't. Their defense came through and got the stop. But uh, I think it's something each coach has got to evaluate. And it's, it's a thing where, you know, Donnie and I are on the same page each week when we go into the ball game. And, you know, we talk, usually we talk on second down. You know, after he sends in the second down play call, I tell him kind of what I'm thinking right there. That way, you know, he knows before the third down call whether, you know, he's got a fourth down or not, you know, because those variables are important. Um, I just think it's something that you got to you got to kind of have a feel for it. You got to kind of know your team, but the situation is different every single week and it's different every single game. Um, you know, certainly, you know, I think that was a, a big factor in that game last week from Memphis because they converted some uh, some big fourth downs. Uh, and their receivers really, you know, was, a lot of them were, you know, kind of jump balls down the sideline where their receivers made great plays over the SMU DBs. And uh, I think that's, 
you know, that you have players like that that you knew were going to make those plays, that gives you a lot of confidence. If Memphis is a team that's enjoyed great success at home in recent years, uh, what's the approach when you take on a team like that and, and you're trying to go into their house and, and try to, you know, shake them up a little bit? Well, it's, it's tough to win on the road in this league. I mean, we all know that. Uh, you know, especially, you know, Memphis has a great home environment there at the Liberty Bowl. It's, it's going to be a tough, a tough venue for us to go and, uh, and try to get a win there. But, uh, you know, we've just got to prepare to, to play the best that we can. Uh, we've got to have great energy on the sidelines from, uh, you know, from our players that are traveling with us. Uh, got to have great focus. Um, I'm sure that we'll have uh, a good contingency of fans that will make the trip also. Uh, and so it's just it's no different than when we went, on, you know, went to Marshall or, or any other road game this year. You know, we just got to – you know, we've got to have that mentality of uh, you know what we're going into. Um, Coach, getting to that time of year where everybody's banged up, I know you guys were without several guys last game. But I got to ask about Jaquan, his status, and also with Hatfield. Do you see a scenario where he could be back this week? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I I, I feel you know pretty optimistic that uh, you know we'll have some of our guys back this week. So we'll just see how the week kind of plays out. Anything else for Coach? Okay, thanks Thank a lot. Coach. Thanks, Coach.